Before we can show an interstitial ad in our app, we first need to register the app on the website. We do that here in the cross promote section. We create a new app, we name it. This is my awesome game. Because we're Unity, we're targeting Windows Phone 8 and above. We can enter the store URL later. Click Create. We need an add unit, which is going to be an interstitial ad. I'm going to load from a template. I created this earlier to save time. You can learn more about templates for ads in our other video about creating ads. See that's loaded the store URL and the images. We save that. Now if we come back up to the code window, we'll get some of what we need in Visual Studio. To try and keep the demo simple, I've created a very basic Unity app. It just contains some a text and a button. The click event of the button is wired up to a script. It just calls this method on our interop object. This interop object has been specially created as a bridge between our Unity code and our Visual Studio code, because it's the Visual Studio code that's actually going to display the ad. You can see here that we're just firing an event. We're going to have Visual Studio code, which is going to listen to the event being fired and then display the ad. That's how we're going to work. This is the Visual Studio project that was created by building our project in Unity. The first thing we need to do is add a reference to the Add Duplex SDK. If we come up to References, Manage New Git Packages, and we'll search for Add Duplex. That's the control we want, and we'll install it. Now we need to go to our page. First thing we'll need is a reference to our ad control. We'll want to display the ad control when the Unity code fires the event. So let's listen to that event. It's on our interop object. When the event fires, we need to show the ad. It's going to be important that we try and display our control on the UI thread. So let's make sure we do that. Now if we go back to the website, can find our codes to create and show the control. The other thing we must of course do is we must first initialize the control. So in our launching event for the application we want to make sure we initialize the client and we're using the app key which the website provided for us. With that all done should be able to run. That will build now. We see our button. When we click it, we have an ad shown in our app. Very simple. Now normally, when we close an interstitial ad, we might want to do something in the game in response to that. Maybe it's load the next level. Let's have a look at how we might do that. What we'd need to do is hook up something to when our interstitial app is closed. We have a closed event we can listen to. And we can generate something there. Now what we probably want to do is add something to our interrupt class where we can call and raise an event back in the Unity code and in there we'd respond and act accordingly. When we finish our app and submit it to the store, 
we need to come back to the website and confirm that everything's been integrated correctly.